Hey friends, I hope you're having a good day today. I want to paint some poppies. I'm in the mood and I thought it might be fun this time. I only have one poppy traceable on my website, AnnieTro.com. So I thought it might be fun if I do another one and it's a bit more complicated. So I sketched it out. It's on my website if you want to download it. And then I printed this out. So this is eight by eight, which is what it says right there. Get it in frame. I printed it out using Adobe Acro Acrobat to fit my 12 by 12 inch canvas. And there's a link on my Traceables landing page and I put a little pencil icon by it and there's a little palette icon by it. And it links to a video that shows you how to do, it, do that, print it out larger. Um, they call it tiling. So you print out four pages, trim them out. I tape them together on the front side and then I'm gonna scribble on the back uh, with chalk pastel and make it into a traceable, a transfer. Okay, so I thought it might be more fun for you guys if I kind of follow this game plan because a lot of times when I paint this, I'll just kind of paint the sky in, paint the grass in, and then figure out where some of my flowers go. And then we paint from there. Okay, let's dig in and have some fun. This took a lot longer than I anticipated, but I think it's gonna work. So what I'm trying to do is just lay down some color and some dirt um, because our poppies are quite close. My painting's wet, so I don't wanna... So we're, we're quite close to the poppies. And so I'm also looking for a little distance. Um, I thought about lightening my sky, but then I decided to darken up the grasses. And then I just kind of reinforced my triangle. You know, I'd lose it and I'd reinforce it and then I'd smear dirty brush work. Just kind of hinting at, at a tangle in the background. I hope that works. Um, I think part of it was because I've got my sky quite dark and the sky is usually the lightest thing in a landscape. Um, you can always break those rules. Like in a, on a snowy day, the snow will be lighter. And actually, there's kind of a neat mark right here. I might just leave it. <laughs> now that I did that, I I'm like, wish I would have just left it. And we'll just smear it out. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Oh, and then I took some... It's pretty much... They, oh, here, you need to know my colors. It's been so long. So, I'm using a three-quarter inch uh, filbert brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. It's their mental line. And then I'm also using a 3 8 inch brush from Artist Loft. Got it at Michael's. I don't know if that helped. I'm standing to the side of my, my uh, camera, my phone. And so this is Thalo Blue. 
A lot of times I use phthalo blue green shade, this time I'm using phthalo blue. So I'm using my, my primaries. I call them my primaries, they aren't literally mine. Quinacridone magenta, right there. Hopefully that's, actually the camera's over there. Cad yellow, I went through a lot of yellow. I mixed this green quite a few times. So cad yellow medium hue. This green is just a pinch of black and a lot of yellow. Uh, this green is yellow and phthalo blue. Titanium white. These are all Liquitex. And Mars black. The other thing that's kind of making me a little nervous, well, this is makes, makes me nervous. Anytime you try something new and different, it's hard and it makes you nervous. Um, I, a lot of times I mute my sky and I'm wanting to mute these colors because then I'm gonna, the poppies will have color and come forward. They'll have more, um, I didn't say that right. These are muted colors and I'll have more uh, out of the tube color because my poppies will come quite a bit forward. So I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be totally okay because I'm gonna put it in such a tangle. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry um, dry it with a hair dryer again and then have some lunch so it can get good and dry and then we'll trace some of the poppies on. Hey, I thought I'd pop in quick with just a couple of thoughts. I don't think I mentioned, I mentioned that my traceable is eight by eight on my website. If you print it out at 150% um, as a poster in pieces, and I, I mentioned that that link is on my landing page of how to do that. So 150% equals 12 by 12. So I thought I would just mention that if that makes it a little easier. You can Google it. You can do a little math on the calculator. Um, I scribbled on the back with some yellow. So there's my traceable. I tape on the front because the tape is too slick. And then I scribbled, I held it up to a window and I scribbled on the back with some yellow and then I came back and scribbled on it with some white just to make it lighter. But if I scribble on it with white, I can't see where I've been, so. Okay, I just thought I'd let, just mention that. And then I used a, a white General's charcoal pencil and just made sure I could see where all the flowers are going. Um, and I, I've also mentioned that sometimes I would just put in where I think the flowers should go. I'd just pick a couple of, big flowers and then add to it as I go along with the painting. Um, you can totally do it this way. And I'm gonna add in stuff that isn't in the traceable. Gosh, you know what? I might put a bee. You might need a couple of little bees. Okay, guys, um, it's already dinner time. I had to do a couple other things. I had some fix-it people at the house, so I'll be back in a bit. stop a second and chat. I'm sneaking up on the flowers. Um, this one has a couple layers on it and it's supposed to be orange. I might bring up, bring it up more orange. This one's supposed to be orange. Um, I put in some white so I could get some highlights going. I'm not sure I like this one. <laughs> yellow, yellow, yellow. This one's red. This one has a little bit of red. Oh, I hinted at a red one back here that I'll end up covering up with some 
weeds. Let's put another layer on it. Dry, dry, they dry darker, especially if they're transparent colors. That's totally okay. An orange one, a yellow one. That's about it. Maybe you want to see them a little closer. Oh, when I look in my phone, it looks, I think it looks a little better than it. It always looks a little better than it does in person. As soon as you get closer, they just need, they just need more time, more work. But I like to sneak up on the values. I'm thinking this one's mostly in shadow. Oh yeah, that one's looking kind of pretty. When I step back from it, it um, looking at it on my phone's a good way to step back from it. I don't know, I just, I need to go look at a reference photo. I'm not real crazy about that one. It's very similar to this one, but this one I like. And one thing too is when you get the flowers on it, I think it's helping me like the background because it covers up some of the background. It pushes the background to the back. <laughs> okay, guys, I just wanted to pop in. Oh, the lights. I've got uh, Mr. Sun up here. It's just a sticker. It's in my, the sticker. I have a couple stickers in my merch shop here on YouTube. I think it's $2.99. And they, sometimes they have free shipping. Uh, this will post after the free shipping is done with. Anyway, um... I'll pop back in a little bit when I make some more progress. Okay, so what the heck am I doing? I add some white and then I'll put orange over it in the case of this flower. Um, sometimes I'll just put some more orange over the flower. I'm just bringing up the value and playing with where the light's hitting. I don't know how many times I've done this one too. I've added some white, a little orange, and I add some red. Oh, I think actually some black. I've got orange in my... So I've been using this... Um, Number 12, I think it's a 3 8 inch. It's the same. Oh, where'd the other brush go? It's very similar to the other flat brush I was using. And then I'm also using this number one round from Princeton Select. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> uh, and then I thought I might be happy if I put some speckles and spots in the poppies, and I do like that better. Um, I like the aqua down in here. I put a little red. This one's more in shadow. I think it's time to put some stems on. I still want, this one I'm not quite happy with yet. And sometimes you just need to stop and, I don't always listen to myself, but just stop and um, do work on other parts of the painting and it might be just fine. So the only one that really has black, I, I Googled poppies and most of the ones I found Gosh, like 90% of the ones I found on a quick Google search. The yellow and the orange ones don't have the black center. They have more of a green and orange center. So hopefully that makes more sense to those who are uh, people who really love poppies and know all about them. So that's about all that's going on. I just keep adding layers and playing with it. I'm looking at it on my phone. It really looks good on my phone. I'm get, I see, I step away from it. Up close, I'm not liking it so much. Um, but that's pretty normal. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
Okay guys, I'm calling it done. I uh, varied the greens, like this is a green with a little bit of brown. It's pretty soft and subtle. Um, you know, like this is lighter and then it goes darker, bluer, greener. I just kind of kept playing um, with the greens and the browns. That's, I, I really had fun with that. I added more um, not yet open poppies. I don't know how many might here. What's my traceable have? So my traceable has that one, that one, which I made bigger. Oh, my traceable has this one, this one, this one, and that one. So I added those two. I just added two. I ended up putting some sky holes into whatever this is in the background. Kind of like that better. It felt a little heavy. What else? That's about it. Oh, I lightened the red again. Add a little more orange. I'm just trying to make sure I, the flowers have uh, a lot of strength because this is a strong sky. Let me know. Oh, um, just a reminder, if you want to paint the 12 by 12 like I did right here, print it out at 150%. My traceable is 8 by 8. I even labeled the flowers with color, but you can paint them any way you want. And let me know if you give it a try and what you think. I, it was a lot of fun for me just to keep adding slowly grasses and leaves and things. That was really fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. I super appreciate your support. Great, big, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.